Valuation of money market instruments. Friends, money market instruments means those who have a maturity of one year or less. Right? The one year convention, that is the one year duration, may be considered as 360 days or it can be considered as 365 days. And the maturity can be various. It can be 90 days, 91 days, 180 days, like that. It can be 360 days. Okay. Now, apart from this maturity period of the money market instrument, there are certain other metrics that have to be measured. Let's look at them. Now, how do we calculate the future value of a money market instrument? The future value of a money market instrument is its present value multiplied by 1 plus the ratio of its duration divided by the number of days assumed for the year. This ratio multiplied by something called the add-on rate. This gives us the future value. This is called the add-on rate. Similarly, when we try to ca calculate the present value, then the expression is given by future value multiplied by 1 minus ratio of the duration of the instrument divided by the number of years, uh, the number of days in the year multiplied by something called the discount rate. This is called the discount rate. Now the year, again I'll repeat, can be of two conventions generally. One is 360 days, one is 365 days. Now, when we calculate the add-on rate, assuming that the year has 365 days, then it is called a bond equivalent yield. That is the AOR assuming year is having 365 days is called the bond equivalent yield. Bond equivalent yield. The add-on rate which is calculated assuming the year has 365 days is called the bond equivalent yield. Now let us take a few examples to understand how they are applied. Let's say a money market instrument matures in 91 days. The year convention is 360 days. Okay. The future value is 100. The present value is 97. We need to calculate the discount rate and the add-on rate. Let's do that. We start with finding out the discount rate. Now from the expression we know that PV is equal to FV on which the discount rate works upon. How does it work? It works like this. FV is, uh, PV is equal to FV multiplied by 1 minus the ratio of day and the total number of days in the year multiplied by the discount rate. Now we have seen that this money market instrument is 91 days. The year convention we have taken is 360 days. The FV we have already seen, the PV we have already seen. Though all the values we have, just the DR we have to take out. So this implies 97 is equal to 100 1 minus 91 by 360 into dr. So guys, we can easily rearrange the equation a little bit to get to this equation. So guys, we can easily rearrange this equation to get to this stage, right? So this means 0 0.03. Now we have the dr. dr is equal to 0 0.03 divided by 0 0.25278 
this is equal to we can easily calculate 0 0.118681 or approximately 11.86 percent 11.86 percent 11.86 percent now if you wish to memorize an expression for discount rate it is just a derivation of what we have learned uh, in terms of PV and FV of the money market instrument so PV is equal to FV into 1 minus d by y into dr this equation itself can be rearranged to get to somewhere like this this equation itself can be rearranged to get an expression for discount rate how do we do that so here we divide both sides by fv this becomes 1 minus d by y into dr is equal to pv by fv we take the d by y into dr expression on one side and the rest on the other side so this becomes d by y into dr is equal to 1 minus pv by fv this expression can be written as fv minus pv by fv therefore dr becomes y by d into fv minus pv by fv now we are going to find the add on rate so we know that pv is equal to fv multiplied by 1 plus d by y into aor right so from here we again have all the information except the aor which we can reduce from the other values so let's do that so we know that fv is equal to pv multiplied by 1 plus d by y into aor right now we have all the other information except the aor which we can find out by putting up the values so here 100 is equal to 97 97 multiplied by 1 plus 91 by 360 into AOR this will be 1 plus 91 by 360 into AOR is equal to 100 by 97 this implies 0 0.252778 multiplied by AOR is equal to 3 by 97 0 0.122352 or approximately 12.23% now from this we can easily derive an expression for AOR also if you want to uh, remember that or use that directly this is equal to y by d multiplied by fv minus pv by pv So this is equal to add on rate is equal to y by d multiplied by fv minus pv divided by pv in case of discount rate the denominator here was fv here it is pv just that is the difference now in the same problem if the question is find the bond equivalent yield let's say here the question is find the bond equivalent yield how do you do that simply you find the add on rate with a 365 day convention 
add on rate we have known y by d into f v minus p v by p v here instead of 360 we use 365 so this is 365 by 91 multiplied by 100 minus 97 divided by 97 let's calculate it this is equal to 12.4051 percent so this is the bond equivalent yield this is nothing but as we have said earlier AOR with 365 day convention 